everybody it's tina again from hummingbird tales um i'm making some tags at the moment for a swap now it's oak house journals and it's carol and every couple of months she hosts a tag swap and i've been doing it for a few months now and it's great fun because you meet different people and you do your swaps and she'll put prompts up but you don't have to do it so I'm a little bit late because this is May and June's, but these are what I'm making. So I'm using a French theme again. <laughs> I'm using Artie Mays's papers. Now she gave some beautiful freebies out. I believe it was March or April with these beautiful blues in. And I've also got some of Artie Mays's William Morris papers I've been using as well that's just a bit of ephemera and i'm also using her french blue kit so i'm in the middle of some sort of journal with this as well oh here we go i've printed on the back because um i didn't want these to turn out thick and sometimes i double them so these are not all of them but i wanted to do something for the tag swap a little bit different using these papers and the ones that I just showed you that was from one of her freebies. So this is where I've got to so far and I thought you might like to join me while I layer up some decoration on the hummingbird one. So this is actually a picture from Pinterest and I've layered up with tool and <coughs> excuse me this trim you can get in numerous places and I've put some can you see different blues on there as well. And then when you open it up, you've actually got, these are the William Morris papers, but also the freebie and the French. So there's a pocket here. Did I make that? Yep, I think there's a pocket there. And there's a pocket in behind here. That's sewn. And that's the back of that one. And then there's this one. I do love this lady. I do use her quite a bit. And I wanted to make it like she was in a meadow of flowers. This is one of the bluebirds from the cluster kit. And I've just layered up with different papers using Andrea's papers as the base. That's from the French blue kit. I think that's from the freebie. That's William Morris. So it's just, I wanted to make a little tag. I was going to use magnets, but the magnets I had were too thick. So they were going to be you know there was going to be a gap here so instead I'm going to tie it into a bow and it's like a little um you know a little tag with some bits and pieces in I haven't finished this one yet because I don't want to cover this bird up so I might put a vellum pocket on there I haven't decided yet and then I've used this lady before as well so you can see that's what it's like when it's tied and I've just done some little flowers with some rose gold gems, some blue gems. And again, this is all layered up on different papers from different kits of Andrea's. And inside this one. So that's William Morris paper. These I've cut out and I started to do a collage here because I thought this was so pretty. And again, I'm not sure yet. Oh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> this one actually folds out the other way. That is why I haven't put a pocket here because she's so pretty. So I'm going to build up a bit more here, but I want them to be quite flat inside. So they're more dimensional on the front because the idea is that you don't really know that you open it up and there's stuff there. So I've got a tuck spot here, a pocket here and i've got a glassing bag here so far so what i thought you might like to join me doing and i haven't done this ever so this is new is i'm going to use some of my laces and trims like i did on these to build up this picture here so i'm going to sit down i hope this works i don't know how long it's going to take but um bear with me and if i start jittering around then i apologize so I've got some bits and pieces here. So I'm just going to get a bit comfortable. So hopefully, yeah, you can see. So this is my area that I need to work in. So I've got my glue. I've got my gems. That's an empty bag. Uh, some bits and pieces here. So generally what I want to do is use the picture that I've got here. 
and make it a bit more of a three dimensional, but with working with what I've already got. So first off, I'm going to put down some layers. So I like to use tool or something because you can get a lot of dimension with tool. It's see-through and you can flatten it. And I don't think of any rhyme or reason. I'm just fiddling around thinking how would this best be. Now I think with this one I might come down a bit lower or that way. Let's have a look. No, I think I preferred it because this is going to open out. I don't want anything hanging over that edge because it will just get caught up. So I might... Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So I'll get me glue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down. Hopefully this will come out. And scrunch it up and just make like a base. I'm using white. So I'm just going to dab some glue. Um, so it can go over here a bit more. And this is all trial and error, you know. I never plan really much of what I'm doing. It just sort of happens. What I do decide is what kit or what um, pictures or, um, you know, what images I'm going to use. Right, let's just put a blob there. Get that down a bit. I mean, this will, I'm going to put another layer on in a moment, so it won't be standing on its own. I might just scrunch it up there a bit. There we go. Now I'm going to twist that over because I like the way that's coming off the page there. Okay. So that's all I've done make sure i'm still in frame yes i am fantastic oh it's going well so far right now the next thing is i'm going to find something i might use cheesecloth um i've got some of this but that's too oh i've got some what i need to decide is i think the flowers on top are going to be more of the cream so i need another bit of white so i might use a bit of white cheesecloth actually and this is all i do i just pick up what i'm doing um you know and and just play around with it really and see what i like now i think that's going to be too much so what else have i got over here i'm only using some scrappy bits that i found um i mean i have got another piece of the tool but i really wanted a different color let's just so what's this that's a doily. That's going to be too heavy. Um, do you know what? I did have some netting here, but I think I've used it all. So I'll go back to the cheesecloth, but I'll thin it out a bit. So I won't use quite as much. So. Let's just. And I like things to, you know, hang down a bit. That's a little bit too much oh actually that hmm. yeah actually that's okay so i'm just going to put some blobs of glue down on this tool i could have put the cheesecloth underneath but this is what you do you just play around and see what you end up with right Let's have a look. I mean, the good thing with the cheesecloth is it will literally, it's quite thin, so you can get it to go down quite well. Now that's giving it a bit more dimension. Now we aren't finished yet. Let's make sure. Right. Okay, so you can still see the bits of tool underneath. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going, I want some flowers 
coming up through this. So let's see what we've got. We've, I've got this sort of trim here, um, which I use quite a lot. It's, it's very good. Anything that you can trim up and cut out and, you know, um, do stuff with. So I've, oh, now that's perfect. So that could go there like that. I mean, I will cover the stem. So put that. Oh, should I have it going in behind? See, this is what you need to do. You just need to have a think about dimension. Because you can always pull bits up and put bits down. Yeah. So I can see them. Right, I quite like that there for a moment. So I'll just place that there. Like that. Now, what else have we got here? We've got some more. Oh, I quite like that. See, this could be one that's... No, I don't want that. I quite like this. That could... I don't want to take away from here and here. So I'm just playing around with placement, really. No, it could go there. Or it could come up here. Oh, I quite like it there, actually. Now. So I might move that over a little bit. Just so it's not too bunched up. Okay, so we need something a bit lower down, I feel. Um, okay, I've got this flower here. Turn it around the right way. So that looks like it's... So this one's more in the background, this one's a bit more in the foreground. Do I want it higher? Yes, actually. That's what I want. Okay, so we'll just grab some more bits and pieces here. I mean, you don't have to use anything, you know, unless you feel what I'm saying is you don't have to use things as they are. Cut things up and, and have a bit of a play. See, that could come in. I'll go that way. So, like I said, I'm just placing things down. Try not to bank the camera. Um, if you can hear scuttling, it's my dog. I mean, I'm using quite big pieces here. What I'm saying is um, you can cut these down so much smaller, which I'm going to do. I want to separate these out a bit. Maybe that could go. No. Don't want it all the same height either. So all I'm doing is I'm just getting a rough idea of where I want these little bits and pieces to go. I could do, ah, uh, I got some. I like this. This is quite a nice little filler. So you're building up a picture and now I want to come down smaller, I think. Now I have got some of this, which I could lay like that, which would just cover up those stems and make it a bit more interest. Uh, 
Now there's a natural flat bit there. Okay, so let's see what we, what you can see. Oh yeah, you can see. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue glue these bits down and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so what I've done is I've actually had a fiddle around. Um, as you saw, I placed it down. I wanted to have some foliage coming off this way because I feel like this hummingbird is flying into something, um, like a drink out of some flowers or something. And then I've gone up here and I've put this lace here. But as you can see, if I do it that way, let's just stand up, there is dimension there. And it's not all glued down flat. I've left a lot of it all sort of doing its own thing. So what I'm going to do now, just to give it a bit of detail, like I've done with this one, is I'm going to choose some gems and I like the blues, but I might put some rose gold in as well just to lift it a bit I'm not entirely sure again you know it's all trial and error really Woo. um now we have got a different blue here there we go I don't want it all to be like a navy color so I'll just put a few of these bits here these are nail um, gems for nail art and I love them because they're so tiny. And then I've got one of these pens. Um, I don't think the rubber in that one's quite... Right, okay, so I'm going to use this. And I use these to basically just pick them up and place them where I want. Now, I'm going to do this best I can. I'm going to try not to get my um, head and hair on the video. Because it's just the way that I'm set up here. Dropped it. Right, okay, so I think we will have some blue flowers up here. So these nail art gems are very much like little blue flowers. Okay, and another. And I try to just be random with it, but not, not have them in too much of a line, sort of scatter them. Let's have a look, yeah. Um, might put one up here. Okay. And now let's have a look. There's a little stem there. Again, this is never thought out. Just go with the flow of it. That's what I do anyway. Uh, another one. So I'm trying to not put them in a straight line. Because not a lot of foliage and flowers, they go in straight lines, do they? Right, let's come down here a bit and put one there. Don't worry if there's too much glue. Just give that a little push down and then I'll just put, pick some off like that. So that's recessed in there, quite pretty. Um, have one here. Of the glue off and then we'll bring some down a bit further now onto the tag these are just nail art gem tools so it's easier to pick them up I mean I, I used to use tweezers but it's a nuisance trying to use tweezers because they flip everywhere <laughs> oh that one's just come straight off Where did I put that there? No, it's not enough glue. Okay. Uh, 
Now it's stuck to my finger. Right, let's get another one. There we go. Turn them over. Okay. Right, we'll have one out here a bit. I'm just dotting them around. It just lifts. I think it lifts it because it's got some different colours. I'm not very good at doing all the same colour. Right, so I'm just pick up some more these lovely blues just turn them over um what i might do looking at this is i might actually carry this on out here with um some more lace some more flowers um let's see what we got here because i'm just thinking it looks a bit like a dead end yeah, just something like that. Oh, I like that, so I'll stick that down a minute. Sorry, just getting the glue. And if I stick that up there. Yeah, it just gives it a bit more of a finish. I'm sorry that I keep knocking the iPad. Right, so if I get that one... This little blue one, I'm going to put that down here. Glue's um, popped up there now. Come on, glue. Okay. One up here. down here and another one I'll put that one up here look I'm quite enjoying this I was a bit nervous about just I don't know what you want to call these videos craft with me or you know watch what I'm doing and do some crafting yourself. I don't know what you call it, but I was a bit nervous, but I'm all right now. I want one right out here, but I don't know if it's going to stay for a minute. So, oh, I've lost that one completely. Let's get that off there. Right, I'll change positions. Oops. I'll go up here. I don't think it had a place to really get anchored on to get down. There we go. Still not happening, is it? Because I don't want oh sorry, I just caught my hair in the thing. I don't want the um this is my last oh there's one up here, look. I don't want it covered in glue because it just takes the shine off it. All right, let's see if this will work, please. Yay. Right, we're there. So now I've got to decide, do I want to add some of these? What happened to that? <laughs> there. The rose gold or... This is a different shade of blue. I think the rose gold, actually. Right, so we'll just... I'm just going to... Is that the right one? Sorry. Oh, it's picked it up, so it must be okay. But I just put them, again, randomly around. Let's 
take that bit of glue off there. Okay. I'll continue doing this and then I'll get back to you again. Right, so I've now finished. Um, I've added, as you can see, the gems. I've added a few more leaves here. I've added that piece there that you saw me do. And now I've just got to wait for this to dry. Now, I might put a quote up on this tag or on either of these tags that I've made. I'm not entirely sure yet. But um, that's basically a bit of my process in how I layer up um on some of my tags um when i'm doing you know some sort of applique work really i hope you enjoyed that and uh i'll be back very very shortly and i will show you when these are all finished so take care everybody bye for now